Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sailor Agenda, and this is my let's play of Rule the Waves 3 as Great Britain. In the last episode, we remained at peace, designed our first carrier conversion, a new destroyer, a new battle cruiser, and we're continuing to cruise through the late 1910s, building our new capital ships, destroyers, cruisers, etc., generally revamping the fleet in preparation for the eventual next war design branch are building a battleship with 23 knots 9 14 inch guns and a 13 inch belt germans are building an aviation uh, seaplane carrier anti-aircraft artillery yeah we're gonna need some of that soon enough okay these are ready how much do they cost each how much do they cost if i build 20 of them as much as like two battle cruisers, which is crazed. But you know what? Um, let's go for it. I'm sure that'll be fine. Let's go for it, and then maybe hopefully not worry about destroyers for a while. Um, and 12 month delay at most to our building plans. Plus, Sparshiet and Andromeda, or uh, how aren't done yet anyway, so. Good. Battery capacity, oh that's for submarines. Okay, the Tracys are ready. Let us lay down four of them to start. That will absolutely entail a delay to the New Zealand class. We don't have the money to lay them down just yet, but once Rodney and Sparsh or Howe and Sparsh get are done, then perhaps. Yes, fire control. Oh, a slump in the economy. You can't cut the Navy budget. Consider the tense international situation. It's not tense at all, but never mind that. 17-inch guns, they exist. They're not any better than our 18-inch guns, but they exist. Okay, the New Zealands are ready. They're mad expensive. If I were to lay two down, we would be losing a lot of money per turn. And it's going to be at least six months before Rodney is finished. I'm going to lay one New Zealand down for now. Japan wants to buy that. No. Still enough superimposed beam out. Light AA, good. Or heavy AA MG, but that unlocks light AA. Dang it, the Westman Roland is underpowered. Oh well. Probably wasn't gonna achieve much anyway. Sparse heat is commissioned. Fire control. Oberverlock. Okay, good for the Austrians. They're building a seaplane carrier. Water wall furnace. Weight saving. Triple bottom. More damage control. We didn't get double bottom very long ago. I guess somebody just thought the logical extension. Advanced signaling. Less signaling errors. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and scrap the Remilius class, I think. They're just costing us money. They're not going to be combat effective in a war. Although, well, they're not. But they're only costing me 60, I mean, a total of 180 a turn. Maybe I hang on to them just a little bit longer until some of our cruisers are done, huh? thought they'd be a little more expensive than that, but mothballed they're not, so... 
Okay, Sparsh yet is finished, yes. Yes. So that's four Andromedas in service. That puts us at 19 heavy cruisers. Once the Creases are finished, I will decommission the whole Drake class. Maybe I'll decommission the Romilius after the last Rodney's officially finished. Ah, purpose-built light aircraft carriers. Fantastic. And better Bolton Paul Barracuda. Good. And okay, money. It's going down quickly, but that's alright. We're about to finish HMS Howe. Socialist Party. I'll have no socialist propaganda in my navy. Proof power training and innovation. Rate of fire penalty for guns below 8 inches in turrets. Imagine if everyone realized that they aren't directly benefited by us fighting Germany endlessly over possession of random territories in Africa that don't benefit us. The blow to the naval budget would be unthinkable. Unthinkable, I say. Okay, House Commissioned. Ooh, a political murder in the Balkans. Well, this is your fault for being in the Balkans. Improved design calculations. Improved ballistic cap. Ah, superimposed beam out on CLs. Did I just skip or something? I think it was that, but it's nothing. Okay, we're not really losing money anymore, due to we have completed HMS uh, Howe. That's ten battleships, four battlecruisers. I'm going to keep holding out the Amelia's class a little longer, but I am going to lay down a second New Zealand, logically, Australia. Probably a third and fourth should happen as quickly as possible, but first... Well, four more creases, but those will directly replace the current four creases in the build queue, I think. And then... Light cruisers. We need to look at light cruisers. I'd really like to have about 12 fleet light cruisers as well. Or so. We have six currently. Assuming we keep the Calypsos, which we probably shouldn't even, but assuming we do, we at least need to replace the Cordelias, and the Sibyls really need to be replaced on Colonial Duty too, but... Uh, the Cordelias. 14 6-inch, 12 4-inch, 3-inch belt, 2-inch deck. A replacement. We can't have twin turrets, can we? Let's delete. Let's see if we can get an actually modern looking cruiser here. If I... Where is... Oh, there is Y turret. We already have it. Okay. Oh. So that's why I'm not looking at the right numbers. Where is the B turret? There it is. Okay. So if I had all of these... Oh, I don't have double turrets on seals at all. Okay. That's the problem. Gotcha. Okay, so then currently we have... Let's see. That's just a flat-out lie. This literally has twin turrets. Which is interesting, actually. Why did they allow me to do that? Maybe only for protected cruisers or something, yeah. Um, so how many guns effectively to a side did these have? Four. Plus, five, so nine. Okay. Nine to a side on these. If I had to build with, sing if I have to build with single turrets... I mean, this is effectively only four to a side, which is, well, uh, midships. 
Okay, it's actually 5 to a Psy. It's still quite radically less. I mean, how many center line? How many center line single turrets is it possible to fit on? Does this work? Is this legal? Dangerously top heavy. No, oh, screw you. Uh, well, if I take off all the twin turrets, actually, it won't be. Anyway. Topside equipment limit still exceeded, huh? Okay, well, how many guns is this? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we could scrap one, I guess. Perhaps one of the big, the superimposed one is actually heavier, but uh, this is radically wacky. <laughs> like we have an L and an R and a and a. And a I feel like L and R are the weirdest, actually. Nobody ever has those on real ships. Not usually, anyway. Still over the top side equipment limit. We don't even have any secondaries. Hmm. Well, it'd be nice to be able to have twin turrets. What's that put me at? Eight, four, six, eight, nine. Hmm. Okay, so we have how many currently forward? One, two, three. We actually have five aft? Oh, I should have got rid of one of the aft turrets, huh? Give me the L turret back. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four forward turrets. One, two, three, four aft turrets and a midship turret. And it's real dumb. But, uh... Too many centerline mounts. Damn, I didn't see that error before. Okay, what if I get rid of that? Still too many centerline mounts. Okay, what's the maximum? Get rid of that. That's the maximum. Seven. Okay. Fine, I'll work with it. 30 knots. Three inch belt. Two inch deck. Uh, 3-inch county tower, 3-inch turrets, 2-inch turret tops. Well, that armor adds a whole lot of weight. Oh, and some torpedo defense. And now it displaces uh, 9,600 tons. That's a lot. What if I settled for 29 knots? So that makes it radically less heavy. Okay. Are these above water tubes? I think they are. Let's do that. I like that better. Mines? Uh. How much weight do those cost? Not much. Okay, fine. I'll have some mines. Okay, seven six-inch guns, all center line in a bewildering array of turrets. A, Y, B, X, and also Q, and C and V. Just, just cuz. Plus no secondaries, plus 29 knot speeds. Four above water torpedo tubes. It's still got less firepower than the protected cruiser it's replacing, you know? Which is a little uncool, but that is just kind of how design of these works in this time, I think. I'm not allowed to have any sec uh, twin turrets. Oh, Reiki. 
It is more efficient, yes. Um, oh, it has to be smaller than 8,000 tons. All right, fine. So we have to figure out how to make it smaller than 8,000 tons. Let's see here. Less armor, less speed, probably less speed. And 28 knots and it just works. Well, except for the crowded center line. It wasn't crowded a minute ago. I guess when it displaced more. Do I take another turret off? Probably. Uh, how about V? I think, I don't know, C? Probably V is more ridiculous. Okay, six six-inch guns. That frees up enough weight that we can stick at least a few secondaries on. In turrets, not casemates. Torpedo tubes, 28 knot speed. It is at least all centerline guns, so... Yeah, it'll work. It's got a lot of good ship names. Let's go back to... Uh... Pretty much all start with P or C, huh? Let's go back to Conquest. Okay. So that'll do for a light cruiser design. We can lay those down once we're done building all of these destroyers. Gunnery competition. Bye. Um... You know what? Fine. Majestic wins the cup. Enhanced pressure bottle. And if you want to know, that cost me like 10,000. Oh well. We'll live. Majestic's one of the newest uh, Rodney class, right? Yep. Okay, so... HA rangefinder, better heavy AA. Even though I don't think we've actually unlocked heavy AA, maybe we have. You, we don't have the money for you just yet. Just, uh, how much do you cost? 1500 a turn a month. Okay, could be worse. We'll just wait for the gold finches to finish, and then we'll lay down about... Well, geez, the dream would be like nine, but we definitely can't afford that many. But, uh... Half a dozen or something, probably. Hmm. International force. Japan has occupied southern Korea. I think they already had northern Korea, so... Full weight saving... No, they didn't. Okay, well, they have southern Korea now. Oh, good. The world economy's recovered. We improved depth charges for more ASW. And next turn, we'll be able to lay our new cruisers down. 16 destroyers commissioned. Really struggling with Daihatsu barges. Okay, let's see. How many of these can I afford? Not many, just looking at our balance, but, uh... Well, not that many for sure. Start with five. I think we should be able to almost afford that after the uh, destroyers are finished. A new liberal government wants to reduce arms expenditures. This, sirs, will spell doom for our naval power. We should increase expenditures instead. 
let's see, we do still have the biggest budget, by quite a bit actually. We've pulled ahead of the USA again. We don't have the biggest fleet though, I notice France, Russia, and the USA all have significantly bigger dreadnought forces. On the bright side, we're really pulling ahead in cruisers again. Not that we were ever behind, but... Oh yeah, destroyers. I don't think we need a hundred. Nobody else is anywhere near a hundred. I didn't intend ever to keep a hundred either. We're going to decommission the whole flying fish class now. Hopefully this gives us 80 if I calculated properly. 79? Oh. One is not finished. Delayed somehow. 80 will be more than sufficient. Uh, honestly, 75 would do, considering what everybody else has right now. So that's good. Light cruisers. Well, the Conquest class takes priority. I'd like about 12 fleet light cruisers, if possible. Which... That would give us 11, with the current 5 building, but I was planning on replacing the Cordelias, so that would give us 8, and then one more run of 4. That would work. Good. Uprising in an African country. Send. Send a cruiser. I'm not, well, if a war comes, we'll be ready-ish, but, uh, I'd rather not fight one just yet. Tensions are getting awfully high with Russia, though. So we got to keep that in mind. Maybe let's turn our spying up a notch. Fought Germany too much lately. Let's turn it down a notch on them. Is Japan? Japan is really not, well. Japan has so many damn battle cruisers and nothing else. They're really? They have, okay, destroyers, but then other than destroyers, they have a total of 11 other vessels and 14 battle cruisers. It's just battle cruisers and destroyers over there. Um, okay, so we're building, building 11 large ships right now, which isn't too bad. Damn Socialist Party. Okay, battery capacity still struggling. We should probably build a purpose-built light carrier too, but nobody else has one yet, so... Oh, the Russians are building one. Good for them. No, wait. Bad for us, though. Oh, they've already finished it. Ismail. Oh, this must be a conversion or something, because it only carries 11 aircraft for 18,000 tons. This has to be a converted battle cruiser or something. Which, it's kind of crazy to already be converting a battle cruiser at this era, but, uh, alright. Whatever you want to do, Russia. So we need next, um, well, okay. Budget-wise, once the crises are finished, we lay down four more crises, right? Once the conquests are finished, we lay down four more conquests. So, there's no imminent money freeing up, but as soon as it does, we need to replace the Sybil class. And then I'll be somewhat happy with the state of our light forces. Although we should really replace the angler class destroyers too, but... Uh... We need more capital ships before that. Oh, good. More money for the Navy. Thanks, Hawk Party. Well, found more money in the budget. Let's, um... We need more capital ships, but that's not enough money for more capital ships immediately. Let's start looking into replacing the Sybil class. It needs to be small... Let's see, this has eight six-inch guns, but the broadside is only effectively six guns, so... Well, plus eight four-inch guns, though. 
let's see here. It doesn't need to be the fastest thing in the world, either. 27 knots will do. 2-inch belt. 1.5-inch deck is fine. It still needs torpedo defense. I don't know why the AI doesn't like to put torpedo defense on ships. It also needs to actually have 6-inch guns. Let's see, at least some 4-inch secondaries are non-negotiable. No submerged torpedo tubes, maybe a couple of uh, swivel mounts, although those are, yeah, they're not that heavy. Okay, and then uh, we could remove most of the wing turrets. I would rather stuff more guns onto the center line, honestly. I mean, let's at least take advantage of uh, superimposed turrets that we have available. It's going to be like this. Dangerously top heavy. Well, hold on, that'll be corrected when I correct for, uh, for weight anyway. I could squeeze all that onto 5,500 tons. Oh, wait, but I also need... Hold on. Not anymore, I couldn't. <laughs> 7,000. With long-range and colonial service. Okay. Don't bother with mines, although, again, it doesn't really... Like, with no mines, I don't think I could go down 100 tons. Oops. Uh, oh, I could go down 100 tons. Okay, then don't bother with mines. Okay, six 6-inch six guns, four 8-inch, two twin torpedo tubes. We are definitely in the Dreadnought era. Uh, increased elevation purpose? Do we bother? Oh, it's even got light AA. Huh. Could have dual purpose. Oh, it, it takes us over our top side limit though, so don't bother. Secondary director, yes. And that'll put us oops, back up to 7,000. In which case, no, I still don't. Yeah, I don't have the top side space. Uh, oh, we don't have that anyway. Okay, well. Oh, and then I could go back down. Okay, 6,900 tons, 27 knots, 2 inch belt, 1.5 inch deck, 6 6 inch guns, 4 8 inch guns, 2 twin torpedo tubes, colonial service, and long range. And we will call this the uh, I like the the Minerva class. And these are dedicated colonial cruisers, one hundred percent. They um they currently have no less than three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen sibyls in service are currently needed to cover our foreign station requirements. So we're gonna need a lot of Minervas. Hopefully a little less than we do civils, but yeah. Captain Rawlings has connections with the company producing our rangefinders. Ooh, minus corruption. What does that even do? Let's just buy the company. And assign Captain Rawlings to that. Fantastic. Okay. Um, yeah, sure, why not? New torpedo bomber from Gloucester. It's hugely superior in every possible way to the Western Whirlwind, except maneuverability, but way better speed and range and toughness. So, yeah, we'll take it. Okay, Minerva's are ready. We don't have enough money to build a ton of them, but 
we're doing okay-ish budget-wise, so let's lay down like four to start with. And we'll just do one-for-one -one replacements with the Sybils as quickly as possible. And so now we're building, wow, we're we building four, nine, 13, 15 cruisers. The rest of the world had better be afraid of our cruiser fleet, because it's, it's coming. An unidentified submarine has fired a torpedo at one of our ships, but missed. There are no clues. Well, well, well. Let's, um... We just flat out blame Russia? You know what? Actually, we might as well, because taking this option will also start a war with Russia. Tension will be too much. So, there's no doubt in my mind which nation is behind this lowly deed. Ultimatum to Russia. And we're now at a state of war with Russia. Saw that one coming. Okay, well... It's, um... Gonna be a weird war, honestly, because... We don't share bases... In, actually, we do share bases in Europe, because they annexed Iceland. Okay, well, we're gonna have to fight them out here to take Iceland back from them. Otherwise, they'll be penned up in the Baltic, except for Northeast Asia, which is our most logical combat zone, actually. We are allied to Spain. They're allied to somebody, too. Austria-Hungary. I feel like those pretty much cancel each other out, honestly, so... Yeah. As far as fleets go, they slightly outgun us in dreadnoughts. Apparently we have the practical advantage in battlecruisers, even though it's 5 to 4. We each have a couple of pre-dreadnoughts still in service, and we have a vastly superior cruiser force all around. And destroyer force, for that matter. Not as superior as our cruiser force, but... Uh... Well, let's see what we're dealing with in terms of battleships. They've got four of these. Miserable speed and belt, and they're using cross-deck fire. This thing... Better, but still under-armored. Five of these... Um, 11 inch guns only and also under armored. Three of these. 12 12 inch guns in triple turrets. Still not very much armor. And one of these, which. 10 14 inch guns. But only a 9.5 inch. Okay, every single battleship in the Russian inventory does not have enough armor. None of them have better than a 10 inch belt. None of mine have less than a 12-inch belt. So that's a difference. I think, um... I kind of reckon even my Jofu class is 12-inch belt, 2-inch deck, is probably at least equal to... I mean, 8-12's effective armament. Probably pretty much equal to almost every Russian battleship except maybe the Sisoy Velikis and Petropavlovsks. And I feel somewhat confident that my Rodney class is better than literally any Russian battleship. I mean, yeah, technically, 814s is less than 10, but I value the 3.5 inches of belt more, so... We'll see. And they're battlecruisers. This thing is not a battlecruiser even, really. It's junk. And these are... All right. These battle cruisers have more armor than any Russian battleship. Why? Who knows, but they do. They're not that fast though for battle cruisers, and they're not that well armed. And this thing is fast but has no armor now. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean, they have four more battleships and a battle cruiser more than us. We have much, m many more heavy cruisers and light cruisers, but we're only halfway through the rebuild process. I mean, in terms of ships actually in service, 
the only new generation cruisers out of everything you've seen me design in the last episode or two are the four Andromedas. We have four Creases, five Conquests, and four Minervas building. And the four Creases will be done within a couple of months, but the rest not for a little while. Oh, also we're going to need to activate gunnery training, so we're losing a lot of money now, but that's alright. And get a bunch of ships onto trade protection, which fortunately the Angler class will serve nicely for. Perfectly, really. Uh, but anyway, other than that, this war will be for next episode. So you've got something to look forward to now. So in the meantime, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all have a nice day. This is Sea Lord Jenda, signing off.